Hello everybody, and welcome to another Unreal Engine tutorial, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make the loading screen for your Unreal Engine game. So, let's get right into it. So first, what you're going to want to do is make a new user interface in a widget blueprint, user widget, and we'll name it WBP underscore loading screen. Alright, so now that we have that, open it up. And now that it's opened up, we're going to start by adding a canvas to it. We'll just drag it and drop it in there. Next, what we want to do is add an image. We'll just also drag that and drop it. Go to anchors and click the full screen option and set all of these values to zero. There we go. So that's looking good. We got our image there. And now what we're going to want to do is get some text and we'll place it right here anchor it to here and we'll just set all these to zero except for the size all right so we got our text block there just move it so it goes all the way up here and now we can Scale it up a little bit so we can make our font bigger, so I'm going to make mine 50. And in order to see our text, because it's a white background, we go into outline settings, outline size, and we can just change this to whatever we want. And now you can see there's a text block there. So what you can do with the text block is you can make it a little bit bigger since it's kind of small. And there we go. That's that's a pretty good size, and we'll just name this to. We'll just make it display loading. Perfect. And now, after you've put loading down, you can go into the palette search bar and type in throbber. So there's either a circular throbber, which looks like this, or there is a normal throbber that looks like this. And for now, I'm just going to stick with the regular throbber right here, scale it up a little bit, and to increase the size of the three dots, you can also change how many dots there are, number of pieces, you can change this to 10, you can change it all the way to 25, but we're just going to stick with three. So we'll have it at three, and to change the size of them, you go into image size, and you just type whatever number you want to be, and make sure it's the same for both so it's not all distorted. And there you go, you got your throbbers, you can change the tint here to the purple if you want it. I'll just keep it at that. So there you go, now you've got the loading screen uh, widget up. And what we're going to do for the image is we'll just rename it background image. Or we'll name it background. So now that we have that, we're going to go into graph. And we're just going to delete these two. And on event construct, actually first we want to get background, get background, set texture, set brush from texture. And we put event construct into there. And now, since we're going to be making random images pop up for a loading screen instead of just having it a black screen or whatever, uh, we are gonna go click variable. We'll name this random image like that. Change it to a texture 2D. This one right here, texture 2D. And we'll compile it and save. And under variable type, we want to change this to an array. So now that we have that, we can pull it up here get random image and we're going to add a length and we are also going to drag it up here and get copy so from out of length we're going to add a okay so from so from out of length we're going to add a subtract 
and we're going to change this to 1. And out of this, we're going to do random integer in range. We're going to change this to the max. Put that into there, compile, save. And now what I want you guys to do is go onto the internet and get some 1920 by 1080 p images for the random images. And once you've done that, what we can do now is under our random image variable, we can add however many images it is you want to add. I have three, and now we can just add them into here. So that's the first one. That is my second, and here we go. We'll do the third. So now we've got the three images here, and we're going to want to implement it into our main menu from my last tutorial where I showed you guys how to make a main menu for your game. So we'll go into here and we are going to just scooch this back a little way so we have room to work and from here we're going to remove all widgets and then out of this we're going to create new widget and we'll have it as our loading screen and now we want to add it to our viewport Now that that's done, we can change this delay to 5 seconds, or however long you want your loading screen to show up for. Personally, I'm going to have it for 5 seconds. And now that that's done, hit compile, save. So now that that's done, we are now going to go test it out. So go into the main menu, hit play, and we're going to press start. And as you can see, it picked one of the images, and it's loading for 5 seconds. And now it's just going to take a second. And as you can see, it is loaded up the level that you want to be in. So if we go and test it out again, it should pull up another random image. See, there's another one. So there you guys go. That's how you make a loading screen for your Unreal Engine game and how to have it so that it puts different images on the screen that you have. So thank you for all for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.